My quirk was a curse. I could see everything of this sick and twisted world. It was terrifying knowing everything about everything, and at the same time, nothing about myself. It made me feel alone, misunderstood, lost. Maybe it's time you finally choose for yourself. What do you want to do, Nikita? Alexei was right. It was the best opportunity I ever had in my life, but there was one problem. Who is Nikita for real? I always felt like living someone else's life. When I left my country for the first, I started wondering who was I without my title. My family crashed my job. Everyone knew me for the person others decided me to be. And when I finally reached Japan to start brand new, well, I didn't even know where to start. If I didn't even know who I was, then how am I supposed to even begin a new life? But this was until... <gasps> I met him. Can you stand? Murai Sezaki was the first stranger that ever offered me his hand since I came here. He looked cold like ice. Cynical, and yet... His hand was warm and gentle. He didn't ask anything about my life. Nothing about my past or why I was there all alone. Just my name. I told him I didn't want to use my name. I hated my name. What it used to be. Do you know what he told me? Since it looks like you have a lot of anger in your heart, and you have no intention of letting it out, how about I call you Retsu? I couldn't believe that a name meaning violent had my heart shaking, because there was indeed a thicker layer underneath my fragility. Like he could see through the real me, like Alexei. This crazy and wonderful man helped me without knowing anything about me, and yet he decided to put his trust in my hands, not sure if he was being a fool or knew what he was doing. Huh? He found me a home where being alone in the world was not uncommon. I met Mr. Hayate Kaneko and his sweet stepson Joshin Hino, who found each other in the darkest hours of their lives too. Mr. Kaneko's kindness towards me, offering a roof, Joshin teaching me how to be helpful around the agency. I became part of something better, something that finally felt like home. A real home. That's how I was reborn as Fretsu Moria. Every time I look in the mirror, I don't see Nikita Livovsky, the person that others made me become. I was given a new life, a new chance to be who I want to be. But I can't let those kids down, Alexei. The new me with also the responsibilities and weights I chose to carry.